welcome to geography class here in this video we are going to discuss soil conservation soil conservation is the prevention of soil from erosion or reduced fertility caused by overuse or other chemical soil contamination soil erosion is the single greatest evil to the indian agriculture According to Kuller with soil conservation people rise and with its destruction they fall Here I am going to discuss various methods for soil conservation First we are going to discuss crop rotation In many parts of India a particular crop is grown in the same field year after year This practice leads to the destruction of certain nutrients in the soil making it infertile Crop rotation is a practice in which a different crop is cultivated on a piece of land each year This helps to conserve soil fertility as different crops require different nutrients from the soil crop rotation will provide enough time to restore lost nutrients for example potatoes require potash but wheat requires nitrate thus it is the best method to conserve soil by alternating crops next we are going to discuss strip cropping which is also known as multiple cropping strip cropping involves planting crops on narrow strips of land which alternate with strips that contain soil protecting plants so here if you observe it very carefully you can see one strip is normal crop and the another strip is soil protecting plants now another method of strip cropping is crops may be cultivated in alternate strips parallel to one another some strips may be allowed to lie fallow while in other different crops may be grown so various crops are harvested at different intervals this ensures that no time of the year the entire area is left exposed another method is fallowing in this method the land is permitted to the rest in order to rejuvenate itself over a period of time so fallowing means we are giving rest to the soil so it is the nature's way of getting back the natural nutrients lost over a period of continuous cultivation fallowing permits the moisture content of the soil to increase over time plants grass begin to grow thereby protecting the soil from water and wind erosion a general improvement in the structure and texture of the soil also takes place soil organisms like earthworms and other insects find their way into the undisturbed soil and organic wastes increase its general fertility next method is controlled grazing A simple method of soil conservation is to restrict the grazing of cattle, sheep and goats on grasslands and within forests. When cattle graze on fields, grass and smaller plants, those get torn from their roots, leaving the soil loose and exposed to the wind and water erosion. Moreover, the pressure of the animal's hooves on the soil makes it loose in its cohesion and structure so what we can do we can control the grazing that means land 
meant for grazing of cattle should be specifically selected and fenced off. Next is afforestation. Afforestation is planting of new trees in areas which are more prone to the soil erosion, mainly on the banks of rivers, steep slopes and wastelands. It has in fact proved to be the most effective means of soil conservation. Trees hold back the soil with the help of their roots. As the trees grow taller and older, their roots become longer and dig deeper into the ground. The network of roots inside the soil hold its place particularly during the rainy season. Moreover, trees act as a vegetative cover for the soil, thus preventing the top soil from being blown away by the wind. It is also an effective means to increase the forest cover. The use of eco-friendly fertilizers and planting of indigenous trees are significantly helpful for soil conservation. Next is terrace farming. Terrace farming involves making terraces or steps on a hill or mountain by cutting into the side of the hill or mountain. Since the land is made flat now, it reduces surface runoff, thereby preventing erosion. It also facilitates the absorption of water into the soil. Terrace cultivation is most common on mountain slopes all over the world. Sometimes people get confused between terrace farming and contour tilling because both are almost same. But kindly remember, in case of contour tilling, we don't make steps. So basically, in this method, the farmers till or plugs the fields along the contour of the land rather than tilling up and down the slope. Here kindly remember, contour actually are the imaginary lines which join the places having same height. So contour tilling is practiced in hilly areas rather than the plains. It prevents the soil from being washed away by water or by surface runoff as contour acts like a bund. The contour also facilitates the percolation of water into the soil. The last one is the contour bunding. In this method, soil is conserved by making bunds or walls or embankments made of mud along contour lines to prevent water from draining out of the cultivated field. Thereby, it is preventing erosion. I hope this video is informative for you. So, stay happy, stay safe. I am going to meet you very soon. Bye.